Hey, what's up guys, Tacticholics here with Mr. Larry Vickers. You're hanging out, Blue Force gear, some of the stuff that's you know heavily influenced with your designs and you know your experience and stuff like that. You're obviously uh, well respected and I've looked up to you for a long time as nice. a shooter and your, your theories and stuff in the firearms community. Um, everybody out there has probably seen your Daniel Defense torture test, mm -hmm. uh, a couple different videos on that. We're actually in the process of torture testing an AR-15 that was built on Anderson components for mm -hmm for our channel. Uh, you want to shed some light as to what do you think the biggest things or the fastest way to malfunction an AR-15 would be? Well, for the average guy, honestly, is to not properly lubricate the gun. You run that gun bone dry, it's a matter of time before it's going to shut down. That, that is a weapon that has to be lubricated. Sure. You want to shut one down, that's the quickest way to do it for the average guy. And a lot of guys, amazingly enough, They'll buy an AR from the gun shop, and it really doesn't occur to them that, hey, you know what, this is just like the inside of my engine or my transmission, it needs lubrication. And they'll run the gun with no lube on it other than what was off you know, the gun rack. Sure, that's the number one way you'll shut one of those things down. You guys had outstanding luck with Danny Defense products. I mean, and, and, it, and it did. The gun came through great, but any good AR would have done just as well. It okay. was real more like, it was more of a testimony to that design versus the brand. Okay. Now you could have used it in a Colt, Bravo Company, any one of them would have done just as well. So really, and, and there, another thing you need to look at is the AR is a very sealed gun. And when the dust cover in particular is closed and you have a magazine in it, it's a very sealed off gun. Uh, when you look at the contemporaries that it's going against in terms of what it was looking to replace, M14, M1 Grand and whatnot, much more open gun, particularly in the receiver area. Sure. So, Big advantage to the AR in that regard in the M4 carbon. But yeah, that gun did very well. It, my experience with it is, if you keep them lubed, you'll be amazed how well they'll run when they're dirty. Okay. Mean, it's, it's more about keeping them lubed, not necessarily clean. Clean's great, but lubrication's number one. 